Hey guys, Kaltorak here. So, I will be making a full guide probably. It just depends on if I can find a route that I'm happy with. But, um, a guildie mentioned to me he had never done ZG croc farming before. Um, so I figured I would do a, like, kind of a beginner's guide for the, like, just a little pull that you can do for the bridge. So you can start practicing the bridge hop with a small amount of crocs. Um, one thing of note is Zolgurub does have the Season of Mastery anti-boosting changes. Um, so that means, like, after 30 seconds, I think, they become immune to slows and roots. After 60 seconds, they're immune to stuns. And then after a minute, and, or 90 seconds, they start going faster, and then it's like a think two or three minutes they're going 300 percent so eventually you can't stack the mobs with your slows and eventually they're going so fast they'll catch up to you the combination of the, all those things makes doing all of the old guides very difficult for people who have never done a zg pool ever uh, even for someone like me who has done so many of the like at least old school zg pool when you can use blizzard still um, I'm struggling with this just because like sometimes the mobs are getting unstacked and stuff sometimes like you can't do you can't get as far as you could at least without Zanza's 20% move speed so you have to do smaller pulls um, I am getting some pulls down but I just wanted to give you guys something that you could use to uh, just practice the bridge jump and start getting some practice killing the crocs it's not a huge pull but um, it'll at least get you there so The only thing I recommend, I recommend two things. One, Defrost, Ice Barrier, and Ice Block are really nice. Possibly not needed, but I do use Ice Block for stacking the mobs. Um, and then, um, but that's not needed. It, if you get the mobs close enough together, then it, before the slow immunity hits, then you can stack mobs easily. Um, the other thing is lips because I'm stacking mobs. It's just nice to have the lip coming out of ice block. It just makes things a little bit safer. Are these things needed? No. You can also have uh, light feathers or noggin foggers for slow fall. Mm, right here, yeah. Okay. So we are going to be doing a four croc pull for this. If you want to practice a smaller pull, you can do just these two pull crap packs. Like if you just really want to do um, a super small four mob pull, you could easily stack these two groups together without ice blocks. I'm just going to go ahead and show you kind of like a more intermediate version of this. I'm going to get these two crocs too. So uh, what you do is you'd run here, you just jump into the water. We're going to have to wait for these guys to patrol, and you're going to want to hug kind of the left side here so you don't aggro these crocs too early. Let's go ahead and heal up. Oh, I'm in combat with a fish, I think. Or did I aggro those crocs? No, I didn't aggro those crocs. It's probably a fish. There's probably a fish over here I'm in combat with. Oops, just break an auger fiber. Okay, so yeah, just don't go too far left where you aggro them. Um, you want to wait for this bird to pat a little bit further away, and then we will start the pull. So I'm just going to again show you a very simple way to stack them. Um, and start getting practice. This is specifically if you need practice on the bridge hop. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get that guy. All right, hug this side. If you hug the left too close, you'll aggro these crocs, and they'll start chasing you before you want them to. You really want the crocs to be aggroed with these guys. So they're like stacked slightly better. And unfortunately that living bomb went off that um, pulled them a little bit sooner than it probably would have. Either way, it doesn't matter because we're going to stack them just fine here in a second. So here we go. We run up. We aggro those guys. Go ahead and blink. Get these guys. Go ahead and displacement. Get on land. I'm going to ice block. I'm going to spam my cancel or uh, lit. Now that they're all stacked. Let's start casting with bombs. As you can see, um, my ice armor is not even slowing some of them. So, like, some of them already have the anti-boosting mechanic. So, um, I don't like to... Um, I don't like to frozen orb early. Because that will start getting some of them slowed before the others have... Um, 
gotten the mechanic removed, and then that'll unstack them. So, um, as you can see, some of them, I actually did it a little bit too early. You see some of them are still being slowed, but others aren't. Um, those guys just haven't lost the saw mechanic. Whoa! Let's see if I can survive this. Escape artist. Get out of the water. I'm pretty oom, so I might not be able to manage the blink. Let's see if I can get an evocate tick. So most of these mobs are actually kind of already dead, so they're moving slow, so that actually ended up being fine that that got bugged out there, funny enough. Uh, that's the first time I've actually had that happen when I, uh, on Season of Discovery, um, but there you go. Oh, hello, dude. Now you see here he's not getting slowed by the frozen orb. Well, I'm glad I fell there because it showed, or that it happened because it shows you, like, if you do fall, how you recover. You can jump down there and stuff. Um, and then let's see the reward. What did we get? Ooh, I already saw a couple bijous there. I've already sold some bijous for over 40 gold, so definitely some gold to be made here. So from these four packs, I got, uh, looks like, uh, three bijous, two coins. Now, obviously, there are the bigger pulls you can do, but, oh, yeah, there we go. There's the bigger pulls you can do. But, um, you know, if you're just needing to learn, ooh, I missed a croc. It's going to have a bijou and a coin. That's fine. So, yeah, if you just want to start practicing the bridge pull, there you go. Um, let me heal up and I'll show you how to get out. Um, again, I'm going to work on a guide this week, at, uh, like, you know, over the next couple days. I got Blackwing Lair tonight, so we'll probably be uploading a VOD of my guild's raid at some point. Uh, but... Um, yeah, expect a Z, like, if I can figure out something I'm comfy with before, like, obviously if some other mage figures out something, I'm not gonna, like, steal his content, but, um, if no guys come out, ooh, there's Crocs over here, too, I'm a bum. Look at all this money I'm leaving on the table, I suck. There we go. So, based off the prices I have right now, um, like, these are listed, like, I, I've sold bijous for 20 and 30 gold. Um, those ones are just listed for 49, though. Um, the cheapest, the most I've been selling coins for is 10 gold, but I have a bunch listed for like 20 to 25. Obviously, this stuff just came out, though, so prices are crazy. I saw some guy uh, spamming trade chat that he was buying all bijous for 20 gold each. I don't see that price holding like more than a couple days tops, like... I assume within a few weeks, at most, everything's going to be below, like, a few gold each. But um, right now, because there's opportunity to make gold, you might as well get in here. But, yeah, this is how you run out. I think you can run behind this tree. Yeah. Really easy. And, yeah, you can see, even though I goofed that jump there, like, it was still survivable. So, um, anyways, if you're having trouble with it, try only doing two crop pulls at a time. That might make things easier for you. Um, it, it's going to take practice getting used to the season of mastery mechanics, and it's going to take practice learning new routes. I am sure once we have the 20% move speed from Zanza Flask, and people start figuring out like swiftness spot timings or swiftness or uh, swim speed potions and displacement tricks, maybe we can do fat boy pulls. Uh, but for now, if you just want bridge practice, here you go. Good luck, boys. Make that gold.